This tutorial is about creating a stencil for printing. It is not a true stencil where the image is cut out like the image shown here. It is a form of print that appears as if it is a stencil. Ideal for printing onto iron-on transfers for fabric or making a, producing a logo. First you need an image with a reasonable uh, clear background like the one shown here. Now I duplicate the image, you don't really need to in this case. Then we go to colours and we go to threshold and that changes it to a form of black and white. Here you can change the threshold to a darker or lighter colour. Now we need to bring it up just a little. Now some uh, use the desaturation mode but I found in this particular image it took too much of the detail away. You wanted the heavy look as though it's a stencil. Okay that's pretty close. I click OK. Now I have my stencil appearance but it needs tweaking up a little. There's a little bit too much uh, chosen there so I use the eraser tool and erase some of the, what I don't want in that uh, particular image in the stencil. You notice there that it took the background out because there wasn't much detail in the background which is what we need in this format. The reason I made a duplication is so you can make adjustments to the image here. So I'll bring down the opacity using this tool up the top here, the opacity slider, and you can see the image below now. Now the reason I did that is because there's a shadow there and I need to erase it. So I've got my eraser picked and I just click on that area and erase it around there just slightly. It's, it was a shadow so we don't really need it. Okay, there's a little bit of hair sticking up there that takes a bit of the appearance away. Now I go back to my uh, uh, paintbrush tool and I select a smaller brush and I just make a scratch on the screen because I need a, a small brush so I use the bracket keys to make them smaller I need smaller than that, smaller than that I can rub these out in a moment or two okay that's about the size I want now what I want to do now is put the colour in so I need to make sure my foreground colour is black I just click there once hold the shift key down and then click again, holding the shift key down at all times, clicking and just slightly moving along. Now I could have used the path tool, but I find this one is quite simple to use because it draws the line as you go. When you hold the shift key down, the, you just move the mouse and then click on that particular point. And when you get to corners, you just go real slow and just make real tight ones. Click there, up there in that part of the collar, and then there. Now I, I lift off the shift key, click once, otherwise it'll follow where you were before. You click on it and hold the mouse button, the shift key down, just click around with the mouse button and draw those lines in there with the uh, desaturation mist. Now click on there and bring that collar up into, into focus. Click once there up there just on the neck a little not really needed. I lift it off the shift key again I click once there on the left mouth button button and I go around and make that little bit of a collar as well bring it up okay now I notice there on the back of the, the head there's a mist whoop you notice that so I need to click once now I hold my shift key down and then I move around and just put in a bit of detail now I know the ear is, is not much of a detail there, but don't put too much in because it won't, uh, it won't have the appearance as though it's a stencil. And that part around the ear there, I click once and just go around and do that. Now I could have used the path tool. Now I'll change my opacity back to, to 100%. I'll get my eraser tool and erase that from around there, bigger bit, pick a bigger brush. I just use those to get the size of the line I wanted. Now I'll move that away. Go back to my paintbrush tool and just fill that in there and make it nice and black so it appears to be part of the stencil. Just make them, make them steady. And there we have it. Quite a simple stencil format. Now you can add text in there. I'll, just, I'll add some text. Just click in anywhere in that area and then add your text. Uh, 
okay and then just go and choose the type of text you want because uh, maybe that one's not suitable it make it more like a writing type of text so uh, today's not a bad one but it's small so you need to bump the the size up by using the um, the key there now of course it's a, um, a separate on its, on its own separate layer go to the move tool and click on the active move the active layer and just move it up into a position where you feel it's okay and then we can dump that uh, colored one in the background click it right click on the top layer right click on the top layer and merge down and there's your stencil you can print that out then on uh, on a, on a t-shirt or on a transfer type of format so thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to rate the video